stuff going around right now. You know, there's always stuff going around. <clears throat> the Lord created every every single thing there is. There's nothing. There's nothing new under the sun. And uh, we all know that. I'm going to speak of the Spirit. Today, the Holy Spirit <coughs> started off with the first, well, for our, there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Absolutely, I'm not going to try to divide those three. No matter what any man has ever said, wherever they are, whatever they've tried to come up with, whatever scheme that they try to portray, the three are one. They are inseparable and um, <clears throat> but distinguishable. Um, I believe uh, the Lord in his wisdom and counsel manifested as such and uh, but the three are inseparable you go to the first verse in John the word was God and the word was with God and I think that <clears throat> uh, the very first verse First two or two or three verses of the of the Holy Scripture, and it said the Spirit moved upon the face of the waters, and then the first um, I think the first recorded speaking, the Lord said, "Let there be light." And every time I hear that verse, or I read it, or or I quote it, I have to. I don't know which sermon it is that pull. Who, uh, was in that he'll he'll say it says let there be light and what happened it be it happened here there's there's no doubt you read the you 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 read the shalls and and it came to pass and it shall be and and there's and that's why they call us hard shells. You know, I thought for years it was hard shell. Um, now this is a hard shell. You can ask Teresa about that and she'll and she'll agree she she'll agree with you on that. But uh but it's hard shell. And that's one thing that <clears throat> I think each and every little child of God when you are shown that you hold that dear to your heart that when the sovereign hand of the almighty God who turns the king's hearts as he turns the rivers of water rivers not just one single but rivers many which whichever um, that's the that's the living God that we worship but they are inseparable um, but I want to look at the Spirit, and there, and there, and there was a promise made in this, in this Spirit. Go to Acts two and thirty-three. This Jesus hath God raised, therefore, therefore, being by the right hand of God, exalted, and having received of the Father. Now what did he receive of the Father? The promise of the Holy Ghost. So there was a promise made. There was a covenant between the Father and the Son. <clears throat> I think there was a covenant here also there was a promise made and you go over to John 14 let's go to John 14 we're going to read a little bit this morning Lord Reverend. it's one of them quiet 
bright mornings, but that's not a bad thing. <clears throat> 14 and verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you, what's he going to give you? Another comforter. You know, I got thinking about that word comforter. And we've all done this, I'm assuming. You crawl up in your bed at night. You're home. Because you go anywhere else and you don't really sleep good. You sleep best in your bed. And you crawl in there and the door's shut, the light's out, and you feel safe. And you pull a comforter up on you. And that's and you, that's just that's just the feeling of a comforter. And here, the Lord He knew that there was <laughs> sorrow in chapter sixteen, and we and we may go there. He knew that they were feeling sorrow in their heart, but yet He said another comforter. So He was a comforter. He was a comforter to to those. He said, come unto me. But he was talking to certain ones. All ye that what? Labor. We sing that song, It Is Finished. And it tells us <clears throat> that he finished the work that the Father sent him to do. Although he he in himself, he came. For as much as, he, as the children were partakers. <clears throat> not, 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 not those trying to, 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 to be children, for as much as the children were partakers of flesh and blood, <clears throat> he, he partook. So here, here you have, it said, come unto me, all you that labor and are what? And are heavy laden. <clears throat> and a little child of God is heavy laden. And him, what is he going to give you? He's going to give you rest. Mm -hmm. And here, and here, he says, I must needs go away. In chapter 15, <coughs> I must needs go away, but I will send you another comforter, that spirit of truth. Mm -hmm. And that spirit of truth is going to guide you and direct you in in the ways you know when you hear when you hear half the language of Ashdod mm -hmm. and then they mix in and they mix in scripture mm -hmm. and there's something that is within you that tells you that just doesn't seem right you may not be able to put your finger on it quite at that point in time but yet that spirit that is within you Christ told Nic Nicodemus, let's go there, John 3. Christ told Nicodemus, and he was, he said, he said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again. Now, <clears throat> that born again or born from above, above. <clears throat> it's that, that spirit that spirit that comes within a child of God. There is a birth. There's not, in, a, in an elect child of God, there are two. Amen. Absolutely, there are two men because there's two births. Amen. <clears throat> and I, I don't feel, maybe some feel like that they know when that birth is, but if you go to a natural birth, <clears throat> your memory don't go back to that birth. There comes a point in your walk when you are conscious of the identity. <clears throat> and I think that goes along also with that with that spiritual birth. Amen. And that and birth enough. from above, exactly. <clears throat> and in a natural settings, you had absolutely no control over when you were born. Who you were born to, the circumstances that you were 
that that you were born into. You had no control over that whatsoever. And in like manner, it says here, that spirit, it blows. <clears throat> I want to I quote it. The wind bloweth where it listeth, where it wishes. And thou hearest the sound thereof. Wish I could get to the bottom of that. But canst not tell whence it cometh Amen. or whether it goeth. Amen. So is everyone, not some, not most, but everyone that is born of who? That's true. Of that spirit. And there was a promise made. And in Titus, it tells us we worship a God, a living God, and he cannot lie. And, and 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 within that silo of thought, he cannot lie, because he changes not. He is the same yesterday. He is the same now, and he is the same for for, for forever. We are bound by time right now, <clears throat> because this this flesh this flesh is bound by that being 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 uh, tr 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 created but they asked him said he told the pharisees i believe he said before abraham was i am amen i am and there's a and, and i tell you if you if if you look up that i am mm -hmm. and what that means and who and 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 the name <coughs> of, uh, of that i am it is it 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 goes back way back and it goes to eternity because he says I am who I am and in this point in this point right here he said the wind bloweth where it listeth and thou hearest it not and also it's not by chance because nothing's by chance but it's not by chance <clears throat> that there is life before that manifestation in a natural way. Paul, Paul, Paul on the road on the road to Damascus. <clears throat> Jesus said, It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. There was things going on. I'm not saying that was the birth, but I'm saying that there were things going on in Paul that he absolutely, I don't think he understood. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks because that spirit, it blows wherever it lists us. <clears throat> and it was, it wasn't Cornelius, it was, yeah, it was, or was it Ananias? Ananias said, this man has, he, yes, this man, this man has done much, has persecuted much. And our Lord said, this man right here is a chosen vessel. <clears throat> he didn't choose himself. No. He absolutely did not. Because that spirit, that spirit blows wherever it wants. You have the north wind and you have the south wind. There's times that that north wind, there's times that that north wind blows and it may be bitter and it, and it may be cold, but there's a purpose in that. And then there's times that that south wind blows, and it's comforting, and it's that comforter, that 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 spirit which searches the deepest things of God. Mm -hmm. It knows it it knows the path, and it sees the path. And there's times that it may bring that north wind. And then there, but but then that spirit knows when that south wind needs to come up, for it knows the path and the and 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 the direction and the way of each and every little child of God. The 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 Lord, where's that at in sixteen? Let's go to John sixteen.
But these things have I told you, verse 4, that when the time shall come, you may remember. And how, do you ha and how is that remembrance? Peter, Peter didn't remember. <clears throat> he denied the Lord three times, cursing. And then the Lord just looked at him, just glanced, just looked him in the eye. And then he, the Lord reached over and flipped that switch, and Peter remembered. <clears throat> that, that remembrance that goes on within a little child of God is brought there at the exact time that it's supposed to, just exactly like in Peter. <clears throat> and he went out and he wept bitterly. Now I go my way to him that sent me, and none of you asketh me whither goest thou. But because I have said these things unto you, sorrow hath filled your heart. For he knows the heart of each and every one. When he says he is the shepherd, and he knows his sheep, Amen. That goes beyond knowing your name or what you look like. He searches the deepest things, that spirit that is within you. They didn't have to tell him, Lord, we sorrow in this. For he knows you, and he knew that they were sorrowful. He, could, he, 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 he knew where, where, where they were going. But then he said, nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, once again, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he, the Comforter, is come, he will reprove the world of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. Now, of sin because they believe not of me, not on me. They believe that man there. Now that reprove, reprove means re, re, rebuke or convict is what that means. <clears throat> now we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, but, you, but if you go to 1 John, Three, and we went there last week. He, he, he that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of God. It's looking at that inner man, that, 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 that's who that is talking about. That inner man is perfect, and he does not sin. But that is why there is a conflict. That is why there is a warfare that goes on. When you hear someone and they and and wherever it is, or if you're or or, or if you're reading and you are and you feel that rebuke or that conviction, some there are that there are some that think that it is pointing only to 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 the reprobate. There is a conflict that is going on with, within a child of God, and it is real. And that spirit, that spirit, it can bring bring that even in a child of God. But but yet there is a purpose in that, and it is a purpose that it is worthy of uh, of our Lord and and Savior. He knows exactly what he is doing every second of every minute of every day. There is absolutely nothing that has ever happened, no matter where it is, from the beginning until when until he ends this at his time and in whatever way that he wants to end it. And he works it is he works in us <clears throat> both the will and do of his good pleasure. It is not our good pleasure. Amen, it is his good pleasure. Amen. <clears throat> of sin because they believe not on me. 
and if they and they absolutely do not believe on on on, on him we sing that song and we just sang it it is finished they do not believe that it is finished he finished that work upon the earth <clears throat> the veil was rent from heaven to the earth and they're doing everything they can to sew it back up. He entered the holiest of holies. One, one time in Hebrews 10 explains that in such a good and a perfect manner. All, all the gallons of, uh, of those animals' blood could, could, could not do because they had to enter year after year after year for for. For the, for, for the transgressions and the sins of the people. And this one that we have been shown, this one that we worship, he entered one time in the, <laughs> into the holiest of holies, and the veil which was his flesh, and it showed that veil, and, and, and it was rent. It was torn in half. He fulfilled both the law of the sin and death on which, which the Gentiles were under, and he fulfilled the law of Moses perfectly to every jot and to every tittle. There was not one part that was left out. It said the law of sin and death, they, they uh, died from Adam to, 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 to Moses. They were under the law of sin and death. <clears throat> and it says here of righteousness. <clears throat> it says he fulfilled all righteousness. He fulfilled all righteousness. And the proof of that, I think, is that sacrifice was accepted. Amen. <clears throat> that sacrifice, the Spirit, the Father coming to the, and by the Spirit, He raised Him up on the third day. <clears throat> and He sits on the right hand of the Father as a mediator and as the intercessor for His people. Christ held many, many offices king, <clears throat> priest, <clears throat> mediator servant, son, heir, joint heir. <clears throat> there were many offices that Christ held. And of judgment, because the prince of this world is to be judged. Let's go to John 8.44 on that. <clears throat> John 8.44 You are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father, and he is the father of it. 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Now, if you look, he didn't transform himself. Go back to Isaiah. Where is that at? Isaiah 45. <clears throat> I'm going to turn that air down a little bit. Isaiah 45, 7. And there's lots of people that have a problem with, with, with this verse. But it's here. It's right here. I form the light. I am the Lord. And there is none else. We speak of a sovereign God. We speak from before. Uh, he, he, he said in the beginning, God created. He, he, and he needed no, no, no help from anyone. And he says here, I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. Me, I girded thee, though thou hast not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. Now, is there any question on who 
is, 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 is talking here. There can't be any question on, on who. And then he says, I, that same I, he says, I formed the light. He did not create the light. He formed the light. He said the word was with God and, and the word is God in, in, in John 1. And he says, and he creates darkness. I make peace and I create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. <clears throat> so then you go back over to John Where's I at? 16. Of judgment, because the prince of the world is judged. Now, a lot of people have this judgment in their mind that there's going to be a judgment and people are going to stand up in front and try and tell about what they've done right and what they've done wrong. <laughs> Our Lord and Savior... He knows that. He knows each and every one. He, and he does not look. If you go to Romans 9, and that is laid out in such a beautiful manner. And not only this, but when Rebecca also conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born, <clears throat> neither having done any good, or evil. They say, you know, that he's going to look ahead and see who done good and who done evil and then pick those that, that, that do good. But when, but when that thought process is put forth, it goes, against, it, it goes against this verse and many other verses. He says, For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to what? According to the election of grace, according to election might stand not of works, <clears throat> but of him that calleth. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve, serve the younger. And then you go on down to verse 17. I'm skipping a little. Well, verse 15, for he saith to Moses, I will have mercy, and it's that same one, it's that same I that that was back there in Isaiah, in, in Isaiah uh, for, for, uh, to chapter 45. This is the same exact I. There has been no, there has been no, 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 no difference. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have c c c compassion. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose, and you go back to this purpose that is back here, I raised thee up. Now, if you think about Pharaoh, and you think of the Egyptian economy, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm sorry if I am, I think the Egyptian economy lasted 3,000 years. This United States of America is at about 250. And that lasted 3,000 years. But, but yet all of that was for a purpose. And he raised all of them pharaohs up, and he blessed them with natural things of this world for a purpose that is worthy of himself. And he does it for no other reason for <laughs> just to show his sovereignty and his might. He is justified in everything that he has ever done or will do or is doing. He is not up there wringing his hands worried about what is going on, on on this little speck of dirt that we call earth. He is he absolutely is not. He is a sovereign God who rules and reigns to the point of three thousand years, which to us is a it is a long time, but to him it is it is but a speck. And he said, I raised this Pharaoh up for the same purpose. The exact same purpose. That I might show my power in thee. And that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore, 
<clears throat> Hath he mercy on whom he will, and whom he will he hardeneth. <clears throat> that just seems so plain <clears throat> to a little child of God, to a one who has been shown that we worship a living God. We worship one who Christ, he was at, he was very close to, to that hour. <clears throat> he was right on top of that hour. But yet he was looking at those and he said, I must needs go away, but I'm going to send a comforter. <clears throat> I will send one that will lead you he is the Spirit, and that and that Spirit said, <clears throat> it's it's said of him in a verse. He will not speak of himself. Who is he speaking of? He is, he is speaking of that 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 one, Christ Jesus the Christ, the the the, the, the anointed that that one that 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 took upon him the likeness of sinful flesh and he was the propitiation for the sins of of the people <clears throat> that's the one that he's going to speak of when we talk of, uh, of the doctrines that spirit is leading you in the doctrine of vital union and in the doctrine of election and the doctrine of grace and in the doctrine of redemption and all, all of those and all of them are pointing to, 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 to Christ and the work that, <laughs> that he did. And then when he said it is finished, and then the Lord, and then he was raised up on that third day, he sent that comforter down <clears throat> for, for his people. <clears throat> Second Peter one twenty one. by him do believe in God that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory that your faith and hope may be in God seeing you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren see that you love one another with a pure heart fervently <clears throat> and only those you know there's two commandments one of them is love thy neighbor as thyself and the only way that you can do that is through that inner man is through that spirit that has been given to each and every little child of God it's the only way that that can happen you, you know we're getting ready to go to that meeting <clears throat> and the Lord's going to bring them from every corner but it's going to be the same language spoke. Amen. How's that possible? How is it possible for that same language to be spoke? <clears throat> that that spirit, that within, that spirit of truth. <clears throat> the Lord said, "I will send a comforter," and I know your hearts are sorrowful. But yet, and there's times in our hearts when we are sorrowful. It happens. It happens. That north wind blows, but yet that spirit blows where it wishes. And there's times when that when when that southern wind it blows up. 
when the Lord knows exactly, no matter, He knows exactly when you need, what what you need, at the exact time and at, and, and at the exact moment when you need it. <clears throat> For that's when His hand is upon you. I think of the children that were thrown in the furnace and they told Nebuchadnezzar, they said, whether he saves us, I don't know, but I know we, we worship a God that is able. <clears throat> and Nebuchadnezzar looks in there and he said, didn't we throw three in there? He said, we, we threw three, but there's a four in there and they're walking around. And they're walking there, and they were untied because that 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 furnace of affliction. But the Lord, that fire burned them ropes to a perfection. And I know I read Dad wrote in his thing, and he said that point in time when they were in that furnace, that's when they had they had the most peace and comfort that they had ever had in their life because they were walking with the Lord. That's who they were with. And it said not even the smell, not even the smell of the fire was upon them three. And those three knew it. They knew that they worship a living God who is able. And that's the truth. And I'm glad, I'm happy that we believe in a living God and we have been shown a living God who is able. Amen.